Now, the rest of the story. Well, now that hay season is over, we got our third cutting off the ground. I got the 22B John Deere Ripper taken down to the valley, and I ripped mainly just the low-lying areas. I bought this piece of equipment to really break up any compaction, but largely to create drainage ways for any of these areas that will potentially collect water throughout the winter you know as the snow melts and ideally will let me get into the field earlier in the spring so I can get fertilizer on and potentially make more of these lower areas for first cut. We've made good progress but there are some areas that they do need extra attention. You can see the cast ball that is being drugged behind this this ripper. Uh, I was able to go back dig out a bunch of the dirt and the trench that was being made and I can actually make a fist and stick my arm through the the dirt tile that is being made behind it so it works really well as far as I'm concerned it does heave the ground up and a big reason as to why I didn't want to rip in season if I could help it because largely I didn't want to have to try to come through and take a cutting of hay and have to to farm around all of these heaved up areas. Now by the time we go through winter we get a freeze and a thaw. Helps break up any of that compaction that I just pulled this through. Uh, that ground that is heaved up will settle out and I do have a drag chain harrow that I'll I'll drag across it also if if it's too rough next spring. But I'm really happy with what it did. We haven't had much rain. We haven't had any rain since we did this so I'm really just trying to set myself up better for next season. I mean, results expected yet this year. I, we'd have to get a, an awful lot of rain to really get much benefit from it. But there is an ideal time to really be doing this. You don't want it to be too wet because then it'll just, that cast ball will just shear and the tunnel that it makes is less likely to actually hold and if it gets too dry which we weren't quite there yet um, it once again has an issue with the the dirt behind that cast ball like crumbling so there is a little bit of a process to it and this was taken about a week after we finished third cut and has actually been taken like a week and a half two weeks ago and really worked well for what I expected it to do. You don't see too many of these out in the country and seems like the 76 is a little excessive for it but I did drag it across some ground that is practically like concrete. It was up on the hill that I wanted to make sure I was pretty well suspecting it did have some compaction issues and this single shank was actually making the the front end of the 76 kind of light. I mean, I wasn't getting any air off the air between the front tires and the ground, but uh, most certainly the the tractor was definitely feeling the ripper dig in. And we got a long time between now and next year. We'll have to apply fertilizer at some point, ideally. And hopefully by next spring, we'll be able to see our results. I mean, I didn't go super close to each other. Um, I don't try to do uh, like any kind of zigzag pattern or anything like that because when I went through and made a pass with this ripper, I didn't want to get too close or drag it through a previous made line uh, with the fear of damaging the the other pass or a pass that has already been made in the ground. I mean, once it's done, I'm, I would really hope that it stays in the ground as long as possible. And I did it last year, just after Christmas. There was a little bit of frost in the ground. The ground was most certainly wetter, and I don't really feel like I got was going to get a huge benefit from it. But I'm glad that I did it because at least I had an idea about what to expect. And this went pretty similar to how it went back in December. It's just without that little bit of freezing, you don't get quite as many chunks drug up on the surface. So this, I think this was definitely the a step in the right direction for this farm and I'm really hoping that it actually unlocks a few more acres for all three cuttings next year so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in 
I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Harvest videos are right around the corner. I'll talk to you guys later.